The Ocean College's fundraising campaign, aiming to reach $68 million by the end of 2026, finally became public during this year's homecoming. The event served as a platform to announce the project and the distribution of the funds. What are the college's priorities at this time for moving forward? And at the same time, we did a campus master plan, so identifying our physical um, needs on campus. According to the plan shared in the campaign's website, $13.4 million will go to nursing and public health facility, $19 million to campus and facility renewals, $12 million to scholarship and student success, five to global and local community engagement, three to academic excellence, 12.5 to the Goshen College Fund, and $3.1 million for expanding athletics. Since this statement, conversations about student involvement on where the money would go became popular between students. I personally believe that they should have at least had a survey of some sort, maybe get some ideas from students about what they're, they might want to see, especially from the incoming first years and the second years who will still be here during that time period. One specific group of students on campus expressed frustration with the plan for their department. It would be nice to be involved. Um, I know we're just a small part of the school, but also we represent all the student athletes, so it would be nice if we get at least a little bit of involvement um, from the school. With student athletes composing one third of the student population, the ASA member hoped for a proportional quantity of the funds and more participation in the decision. I see we have to invest in other parts too. We get a nice nursing program, we just got a new cafeteria. This is all very, very nice. But yes, yeah, since our population is so high, at least come to us. What are your ideas? What would you like to see? According to Javier Hayes, for student involvement to take place in future decisions, interest and commitment needs to be shown. Because if we f fall into that of like, we don't want to really go because uh, we can live with it, then improvements won't be made and the changes will be up to the administration at the end of the day. Reporting for Globe News, I am Isabel Masood.